Hello, my dear friends. My name is Alexandra Kokoychenkova, and I am a medical student from Vitebsk State Medical University from Belarus. Let me present our poster title: "The convolution of the transcriptomes improves understanding of the molecular landscape of pancreatic cancer and predicts survival of the patients." Pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma shows increasing number of cases every year, and unfortunately, its mortality rate remains high. The early stage of the disease are asymptomatic. This limits diagnosis and treatment of the neoplastic process, and thus leads to a reduced survival prognosis. In this research, we are aimed at detecting and studying various biological processes and the effects of the prognosis of pancreatic cancer patients. We hope the deep understanding of the bi- biological and molecular processes in tumor will, will show us the way to a personalized treatment. The goals of our research are: at the first, to identify pathophysiological processes affecting survival of the patients with pancreatic cancer and determine the role of active signaling pathways; at the second, to characterize tumor purity in unsupervised manner; and at the third, is to predict the survival of new patients. In our Research: We analyzed three public transcriptomic datasets, TCGA, Bailey, and the KFZ, composed of 183, 96, and 457 samples, respectively. For the convolution, we applied consensus independent component analysis (ICA), implemented in recent package Consica. Components identified by ICA were dated by biological functions using TOPGO package of R and Enricher online annotation tool. In addition, they await valence to survival using Cox regression. Three datasets were first analyzed independently, and components were linked using coefficients of determination between columns of S matrix. Many components were found repre- reproducible between datasets, as formed in graph presented below. Components identified by ICA were annotated by biological functions and linked to survival using Cox regression. We saw that better survival was associated with normal pancreas activity. It's very interesting that immune response showed no effect on the survival. Finally, such functions as kerosinization, cell cycle, hypoxia, neoangiogenesis were linked to a poor prognosis. ICA was able to detect transcriptional signals specific to stroma and tumors. In the KFZ dataset, abundance of normal pancreas tissue as well as uh, immune cells was detected in unsupervised manner and correlated. to an independent observation of an immunohistopathologist for bailey and tcga data sets such correlations was observed with in silica purity predictions in the last step we combined the kfz training data set and bailey testing data set ica was performed on the joint data risk scores were cal- calculated and visualized So this approach gives us an instrument to predict the survival of new groups of the patients. To conclude, we made the following observations: pathophysiological processes that affect survival in the patients with pancreatic cancer are cell proliferation and keratinization. No strong effect uh, of the immune components on the survival was detected. The second, tumor purity was characterized. It strongly correlated with independent observations of immune cells in the KFZ cohort and in silica estimations in Bailey dataset. The third, risk score calculated for testing dataset Bailey strongly correlated with the survival. I would like to thank my collaborators and co-authors from Luxembourg Institute of Health and German Cancer Institute. I hope you will be see my poster number 300 and 4